Anaya Rivera was born in Santa Clarita, California on the 12th of January 1987. She lived in or around Los Angeles for most of her life. She was of African American, German and Puerto Rican descent. Her parents are Yolanda, a former model, and George Rivera. She was an American actress, model and singer. She was best known in her role for the cheerleader Santana Lopez on the Fox television series Glee between the years 2009 to 2015. On the 8th of July 2020, Naya took her four-year-old son Josie with her to Lake Piru. She hired a pontoon boat so they could venture out and go swimming in the lake. CCTV footage captured Naya's black Mercedes G-Wagon arriving at the lakes near Empty Park and lighted around 1pm. She was seen wearing white shorts and a small black backpack as she stepped out of her vehicle. She then walks around the car to the driver's side to the other to help her son Josie out, who was also wearing a backpack. She was seen taking a large white bag from the car before she and Josie walked to the dock and departed in the boat. Approximately three hours had passed after they left the dock and were due to return the boat. Another boat a passing discovered Josie alone, asleep in the boat with his life jacket on and a towel wrapped around him. Emergency services were contacted around 4.38pm and a search team was dispatched. The boat was in an area north of the lake that can be quite deep and choppy, with strong undercurrents and whirlpools that have been known to have taken lives of many swimmers in the past. Josie told investigators that he and his mum went swimming. She hoisted him onto the deck of the unanchored boat, then after doing so, he turned around and saw it disappear under the surface of the water and couldn't make it back in. It was thought that the boat started drifting and then she mustered enough energy to get her son back onto the boat, but not enough to save herself. No foul play was suspected in her drowning, nor was it believed she took her own life. The authorities identified specific areas the two had visited that day by looking at the shoreline features in the background of FaceTime videos when she was chatting with family members while out on the lake. The authorities are confident that it is her, based on the location, physical characteristics, clothing, and physical condition of the body. She was discovered in the northeast part of the lake, with depths of between 35 to 60 feet. She was near the surface of the water, but had been concealed with some heavy brush and trees on the lake bed there. The find ended a difficult five-day search effort, which involved helicopters, sniffer dogs, divers, and sonar equipment. It was believed that during the decomposition process, the body filled with gas and became more buoyant and surfaced on its own to make it more visible to the search team. Naya's body has been taken to the Ventura County Medical Examiner's Office, where an autopsy will be performed and a positive identification will be made using her dental records. 911 is on, what reporting? Uh, Lake Piru, um, the emergency is we have a missing person. We found a little girl in one of the boats by herself and her mom is nowhere to be found. Okay, Lake Piru, okay, found child. And she is, a, is she white, black, Asian, Hispanic? I have no idea. I'm heading down there right now to go check. My husband um, was one of the people that was first there. And I'm going to go find out more information. He just told me to call it in. Okay. Uh, do we know if it's a boy or girl? I think it's really a little girl. Okay. Approximate age? I have, Like I said, I have no idea. I'm heading down there right now. <clears throat> Do you want me to call it back when I get there? Yeah, I'll put it, I'll put the little bit of information that I have, and then, yeah, I just, when you get there, you can give us a call back. Okay, I'll put that in, but yeah, as soon as you get more information, go ahead and give us a call back. Okay, thank, thank you. you.